Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be talking about some theme park news and also a recent trip to London where I went on my London Eye. But I'm going to jump right into it and firstly talk about some news that not a lot of people have talked about. I think Coaster Crazy mentioned it in a vlog um, at Southend Adventure Island and that is Southend's Adventure Island new ride for 2022. Even though it does say 2021 here, the reason I'm looking down so much because I'm looking at a phone. And that is the Screecher, which it says jump aboard the island's newest orbiter for stunning spins and plenty of screams so it's called the screecher and i do believe it's an extreme tivoli um just an extreme i went on one of these at winter wonderland and they're very intense but some of the theming does look amazing if i can show you a picture Where is that? i'm going to be showing you a picture on a phone so it might be quite bad here this is the best picture of the ride the screecher i don't know how well you can see that but it sort of like it says the screecher in color so i've got a funny feeling that might be filmed around maybe uh i mean themed around a film or something because when i first heard about the name because it wasn't the ride at first it was just the name we found out i thought it'd be yet another re-theme of the uh spooksville so i was quite surprised when it's an extreme so i was quite happy to find that out um but yeah so that's all it says about that there's not much i should be going there next weekend as well hopefully not too sure on that as well for the opening day um because it's been shut since december and there ain't really many parks open and that's the other reason this video might be a bit late um because it was meant to come out on Sunday. I'm not even filming it until Tuesday. So you should be seeing this on Wednesday. And hopefully next week there should be another theme park vlog. Um, but yeah, so that's for that news. And then the other thing, I'm sort of looking at two different screens here. Oh, Yeah, and then the other thing is some recent, some upcoming plans I've got as well for trips. So because obviously there hasn't been too many vlogs, I have got some... Um, trips coming up well I'm just in the UK obviously um, quite distant ones in the future I'd say so this weekend hopefully South End Adventure Island and then uh, Saturday the 19th hopefully going to Alton Towers well I am going to Alton Towers for the opening day unless because I heard something about that Merlin annual pass holders get called forward or something but I don't know for the weekend before I'm not too sure about that and then Thorpe Park the weekend after for the 26th a um, couple of days after opening day so that's um, some planned trips then there's also uh, Skegness I think hopefully in some time in the spring that's all that's planned but there'll be definitely some other trips as I've got a, my Clapton Pier annual pass holder and Looping Stars open so probably go down there as well sometimes February March time so there's quite a few trips planned but then in other news theme park wise uh, well uh, you'll have heard this from a lot of the bigger YouTubers like uh, Theme Park Worldwide, Coaster Crazy, Jack Silkstone. But, um, well, obviously, Nemesis getting a retrack. I, I'm not going to go too much into that at all. But it's four years away. I'm not too interested in it, really. Well, it might be a bit smoother in four years' time. Um, Thought Park's getting a new coaster, which is really exciting. I can't wait to go on that. But, again, it's like five years away. And it's... Uh, like theme park news i find it hard to get quite excited for things that are like five years away because well for all i know i hope i am but i might not be as interested in theme parks then well covid might be worse and obviously then we've got um the london resort which might open it might not so there's a lot of sort of it's in the distant. I mean, Chessington's getting a new coaster hopefully next year. That's the only thing I can sort of see myself looking forward to because that's been now approved. But yeah, so that's all other news. If you want to really see about that, go watch some of the um, for YouTubers like Theme Park World or, uh, Worldwide or something. But then the other thing I did is I went to the London Eye. Um, well, and London Shopping. And the London Eye was actually amazing. Quite, uh, well, it's quite high to say the least. But the thing about it was it was quite simple with the Merlin annual pass holder because so I thought it was going to have to queue because it was a really long queue but when we got there we just they scanned we walked straight in right well or into the queue they scanned our Merlin annual pass and we went through like this fast track queue we hadn't booked it or anything um straight onto the London line about two minutes so that was great and then but the only thing I'd describe is it a good 
think it's expensive if you're not on my annual pass holder. It's £33.50 to go on, which is mental. Um, but the, I'm, obviously I wouldn't have done it if we weren't Merlin annual pass holder. But yeah, it was quite good. But when you're going up, right, you go up very quickly and you sort of think, well, I'm quite high already now and I'm only like one above the one that's loading. Um, but the weird thing is, compared to other Ferris wheels I've done, I've not done massive ones as well I have. I've done Clacton Pier and that one in Yarmouth. So I've done about 50 metres before, never 135. <laughs> so that was quite uh shocking to say the least because i'm going up and i'm thinking so we're about sort of two or three gondolas from the bottom one yet this is like the height of the tallest wheel i've been on and then you're sort of going up over the edge and it's quite weird because normally when you're sort of in a wheel you've got your um the cage almost around you unless you're on the outside of the wheel Whereas normally you're on the inside of the wheel. And then there's the other thing. There's a lot to go wrong with it. Well, there probably isn't because they've obviously got all the safety measures and that. You just think there's a rubber tie that spins the whole thing and it must be like a motor or something. Um, but then the whole thing to keep it upright is motors. And I just think, what if they fail? <laughs> you're going upside down. But no, I mean, it, the whole thing lasts about 20 minutes, I'd say. They do say 30 minutes. And I think that's a bit of a, 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 an exaggeration for um it because i think maybe 30 minutes with queuing and boarding and whatnot and maybe a little trip to the gift shop um but yeah i mean it's not 30 minutes i think it's more 20 minutes because it felt like we was just going up and then we was back down again like that i mean it didn't feel much longer than a normal ride um in terms of the height does it feel weird the height doesn't it's just the fact of oh i'm in a little glass pod up here um there is a ride about that tall that I didn't do at Brighton. That was 450 feet. But then apparently that's been getting stuck a lot. So I know I'm talking about rides getting stuck a lot, but they have been. Um, this one at Brighton got stuck for three or four hours, I think, once, um, a couple of years ago. And I thought that doesn't sound too fun, whereas London Eye's never really had any problems. But the only reason I'm talking more about rides getting stuck in that now is I've had quite a few encounters. Well, not getting stuck on a ride but coming quite close like um oh, what the fire and ice drop tower at legoland i went on that the restraints came down they had to come and sort of manually release them because well it wouldn't go so that was annoying um then after that brighton pier air race um that's to do some safety checks and that with the restraints and i heard something um about them not being too good so the in december and sort of january it's been a lot of rides getting stuck a lot um but yeah so that's there's always a thought with the london eye it's winter i mean in summer i've never had any problems with rides because i've been going like every weekend in the summer but in the winter it's like i barely go and every time i do go ride gets stuck or something so that was quite annoying and then the other thing is when i went to winter wonderland in uh, december airborne i think had a little bit of a slow come down anyway but yeah the, so that was basically what's happened in the last week sorry there's not been too much uploads but there isn't in the winter unfortunately um because obviously well theme parks are shut the only ones i know of that are open is i think clapton piers open 10 to 4 weekends south end and legoland and i think chessington for a couple of rides opens next weekend and maybe alton towers as well but there's not loads of parks that are worth going to because like alton towers that's definitely not worth going to is it's don't even know if um spinball wizards open and that's like three and a half hours for me so it's definitely not worth going for that um because obviously fuel as well gets up um uh legoland there's a um in terms of merlin parks i've been to as well i'm quite new to the whole merlin park thing i've only ever been to two and that was shessington which I didn't have a great day at to be honest because half the rides were shut it was closing day last day of the season on uh, last day of halloween um so i was sort of bit put off of chessington as it, it wasn't really run that well but um because it seems like we've paid for like some drinks oh sorry we've run out of them do you want this one not oh do you want your money back or something um because i think we paid for unlimited refills and they only had like spring water or fizzy water left in it and like normally those because they're just 
basically said, oh, it's last day of season, what do you expect? So that wasn't a great experience at Chessington. But what I wanted to do in this video was just basically sort of cover months and almost years of me going to theme parks in a video, me sort of explaining my experiences as I didn't vlog them as the channel wasn't a thing. The other thing is I have got a main, my main channel. Well, this is, this is kind of my main channel, but then the thing I do produce a lot of content on is my Lego channel. There's nearly like videos every day on that. Every day I'm sounding like breast tech now. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm just going to upload some pictures, I think, if I can, some pictures from the London Eye. I've got to get a bit better with editing. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully should be South End Adventure Island or something like that. So I'll see you then.